what is up we're on day 11 is it already day 11 that's kind of crazy uh we got uh back biceps traps um maybe triceps we'll see because i'm not hitting chest for a couple of days or i'm not hitting push for a couple of days so i might hit triceps but yeah we're back at the home gym for father's day um not much to say if you're new here yes we're bulking during the summer which is kind of weird but i don't know i gotta bulk i gotta gain weight i want to get to 200 night weight i think that's the official thing like night weight so as soon as i just hit 200 it doesn't matter it's not gonna be morning weight it'll be night weight like after a big meal or something um i'll just start cutting down again maybe probably cut to 185 and then i'll look What's the word for it? Magnificent, as the Italians would say. Um, we got barbell rows. We got some pull-ups, some curls. I don't really know what else we're going to do. We'll just figure it out. Going to hit rear delts. Oh, probably upright rows. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't. Oh, and maybe triceps. We'll see about that. Other than that, just we'll just go heavy on barbell rows. And then sort of heavy on weighted pull-ups and then just focus on squeeze we'll go heavy on a couple sets of uh barbell curls and then just go for the squeeze yeah it's gonna be a good workout i'm kind of tired right now because i went for a walk with my parents and it was like an hour and a half and you know like the carbs they were saying bye bye for the hour and a half and i just got back so hopefully uh we're as strong as normal but i don't think we will but that does not matter we're still gonna have a great workout, so let's get it. Peace. 195. Let's see how this is. All right, same weight, but this will be better. So I was not feeling barbell rows, I don't know. Form was off, just fell off, so I'm just gonna go straight into pull-ups. I might do more barbell rows later, but a lot lighter and just focus on form. But yeah, this is 25, we'll see how it is.
style my superset bicep curls with upright rows. These are so good for your biceps. They just put so much tension and you can get a good squeeze at the top. And yeah, you guys should try it. Just straight arm, straight barbell curls. The only problem is sometimes it'll hurt your forearm like right here, but it doesn't hurt that much. So You're gonna superset upright rows into, uh, what are they called? Rear delt dumbbell flies. That. Something heavy, something squeezy back to back. Are dead my rear delts are done bro this is crazy like what the I'm gonna do the same thing I just did but with curls so we do the heavy variant and then we'll go into dumbbells. Let's get it.
that point, it's just my shoulders that hurt. I don't know why, like my biceps just die. My shoulders just take over. Still a great set. They're burning. So we're back to upright rows. I added 20, so this is what, 95, 115, and then we drop set into 95. I mean, that's kind of a lot, like for me at least, for upright rows, but we got this. We're back with some more barbell rows, but this is only 135. I'm just gonna, excuse me, focus on the squeeze and I'm not gonna use any momentum. I'm gonna not try to use any, uh, anything other than the lats. Uh, obviously I'll use other muscles than the lats, but before, you know, before we got a little Jimmy in the comments. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna focus on the contraction. We'll see how 135 is for that. Good set, used a little momentum at the end just to get a little bit out of the tank, but man, that was good. They felt felt like tearing right here, so you know that's good. We got more curls. I think I'm just gonna do barbell curls today just because they feel super good. Um, they're giving me a crazy pump, and I mean, you can't tell. There you go. They're giving me a crazy pump. They're hurting a lot. I mean, like, if it what's the saying if it works don't fix it or something like that so yeah like no point in doing other things because it's working out really well for me right now so i'm just gonna do like two more sets of that do another set of upright rows finish some pull-ups pull-ups and i'll be done but pretty good workout so far it started off kind of bad but it's really good right now Doing a bunch of cheat reps, but it's helping me get more out of it, so I can't complain. Whew. I'm gassed. I think it's from the walk. Not exactly sure, but I'm gassed. So we got one more set of upright rows, one more curl, and then like two sets of pull-ups, maybe one. We'll see. 
just want to fi finish off with like the upper lap because um, barbell rows have a lot of like like lower lat, mid lat, back thickness, but I haven't really hit a lot of like right here, which wide grip pull ups hit like crazy. So I want to fin finish off with that. Another great set. It was like mini drop sets when I put the weight down and I keep going. Because I always feel like I have more, you know, more to give. So that's kind of why I do it. Because I feel like if I don't, then I'm, I'm like missing out, you know, I'm cheating myself. Which isn't fully true because I'm just like, I'm getting like marginal more gains. Like not, it won't, not even noticeable over like the course of a month. If I do that every time. But over the course of the year, it'll be noticeable. And over two years, you know, that's what separates you. So that's why I do it. Because I feel like in a competition with others and you have to do what they don't, if that makes sense. I don't know why I'm getting deep all of a sudden, but but that's my two cents on why, why I did that set like that. <laughs> Decided I'm gonna do one set of pull-ups before I do curls, just so I have more time to rest in between, you know, the two pull-up sets and then the two curl sets. So, so I'm doing pull-ups and not curls first. Also, I'm doing wide group pull-ups. My back is so done. Great set. Really recommend if you're doing pull-ups to do negatives like I just did, where you don't care if you get another rep. You do care is that you're using your lats and you feel them as you go up and then down. Cause that, I don't know another exercise that hits it like that, like wide grip pull-ups when you're dead negatives and you're not, you're not using your biceps, your forearms, all the weight you're just flexing your lats and all the weight is on your lats. It's great, it's actually great. So give that out a try. We got one more curl set. Hold up, let me see. Do I look better here? No, not really. It's fine, one more curl set. <sighs> one more pull up set probably. And we're done. So let's get it. Last two sets, full intensity. Squeeze, tension, everything.
Jesus. Going, going down slow on those heavy curls kills my biceps, kills them. Just squeezing, holding, focus on the squeeze at the top and just, jeez, that hits them so well. Lots of tension and then just the eccentric is crazy. Try it. There's a lot of things I'm saying to try this, this workout. Obviously you can't try them all, but try some of them. Like that I definitely recommend. Like next time you guys hit biceps, start it off with something heavy, either easy bar or barbell, straight bar, and just go heavy. And the first couple should be good form. Up, just squeeze, kind of turn your wrists like out like that, like this, because you get more of a bicep squeeze. Like literally, if you're watching this right now, just try it, like, see what I mean? Like you feel more of your biceps. So the top, kind of turn your wrists as much as you can, and then squeeze that, and then just go down slowly. Trust me. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. So that was the whole workout. I always have a good workout at home. If you guys have home gyms, like, let me know. Is it just me, or do you guys always just have a great workout? I think it has to do with just like, you're just on your own. You know, only one around, obviously. And you just don't have to worry about anything, you know what I mean, except yourself. Um, it was kind of crazy. I touched on this. I'm going to make like a little interlude. And if you watch the full video, you see it. Because my first couple sets were bad. And then I kind of just like sat down. I'll, I'll explain it once I get back home, like college home. I'll make a little interlude. You'll see. And yeah, I just kind of like had to pick myself up, honestly. Because um, I felt really tired just out of it. But you got to realize that like, everyone has off days. Everyone doesn't always feel 100%. And, you know, I took that and I just, and I told myself like, it doesn't matter how I feel, like I just have to go for it. And I went, went for it, did one really good set and it just carried over into the rest of my workout. This is kind of like a metaphor, but that's kind of how life works, right? Like if you think you're down, but you have like a good day, you can kind of snowball that and use that as momentum. So. To anyone that's not like 100% right now, just realize that to get to 100%, it's not that for the next week you have to do certain things. The hardest part is just starting. And so if you can just do a little action that can kickstart you, it's literally the hardest part. Like kind of like making these videos, like the hardest part for me was day one. And ever since then, it's just kind of been like a habit and I've been liking it more and more and more. And obviously it takes a lot of time to edit and just put them together, film, but the hardest part was day one and day two, you know, and it just gets easier. So to anyone that's not, you know, feeling the best, just realize that one, this isn't how life is always going to be. And two, you are one step, maybe two steps away from getting yourself out of that like trench or that grut. You know what I mean? So <laughs> love it when I can just turn like a little workout thing into like life, life advice. But other than that, just amazing workout honestly like like i said it started out bad but it just went well went heavy those um those curls um if you if you skipped over the part where i talked about the little tips on the curls like go back because that will help you so much for your biceps like trust me it's been helping me i've been growing these these little thingies like crazy so yeah just went heavy and i've really been like i've really switched around my training philosophy where just, I go heavy as possible, and I don't care about form that much. And then, right after that, I go into like a squeezy thing where I really care about form. And before I used to sort of do that, but on the heavy stuff, I would like care about form too much. Looking back, you know, uh, too much. And now I just focus on the weight because like, it's gonna hit you hard. Like, it doesn't matter if your form isn't perfect. Obviously it has to be good, but it's not. if it's not perfect, but you're going heavy, that's still a lot of tension. So and that will create growth. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Well, this, this video will probably go out like Sunday night, so it'll be a little bit left of your weekend. Um, ask any questions in the comments if you want me to touch on uh, next video. And other than that, go get big boys. Peace.